and that's what we definitely had this afternoon and some of us are still dealing with the showers and thunderstorms before we get to that though want to get a quick check of the tropics as we're still tracking tropical storm barrel as it's pushing towards the northwest now at 13 miles per hour headed towards the Texas coastline there and the pressure still holding at 997 millibars. We've got maximum sustained winds at 60 miles per hour and it's expected to continue to intensify and make it to a category one storm before it hits the Texas coast there making landfall somewhere around Corpus Christi getting into tomorrow evening. We could see winds upwards of 75 miles per hour before it curves back off towards the east and downgrade to a tropical depression from there. So that's what we're looking at with Tropical Storm Barrel. Back here at home, we've got a slow moving cold front that's interacting with that warmth and that humidity that we have out there. We're seeing several showers and thunderstorms working through portions of Alabama, Georgia, on into the Carolinas. And we even had our share of a severe thunderstorm warning earlier across portions of Union County, but we're still getting some heavier downpours in and around East Charlotte right now, headed towards Mint Hill. That's where you're getting some heavier downpours and several lightning strikes now in and around Indian Trail as well. It's farther towards the south that we still have some heavy rain pushing into Waxhaw and Weddington. Fort Mill, you're now getting in on an isolated thunderstorm and this is going to continue at least for the next two hours or so before we start to see things dissipating. Now this cold front, it's not going to be pushing out of our area for tonight or tomorrow. It's actually going to be stalling right across the Carolinas and with that we'll see more shower and thunderstorm activity. So here we go. Futurecast showing you at nine o'clock still seeing some more redevelopment of thunderstorm activity stretching from Statesville into Shelby farther towards the south into York and Chester counties also into Lancaster counties. And then as we push towards the overnight it becomes a little bit more isolated from there. We're left with a partly cloudy sky. We'll get off to a dry start for tomorrow morning, but look what happens towards the afternoon. More shower and thunderstorm development expected, and some of those could be strong to severe, so some heavy downpours are going to be possible. We're going to continue with this tropical atmosphere for the next several days here. The dew points will stay into the 70s, and we're also looking at increasing chances for more showers and thunderstorms. We do have a first alert in place for tomorrow with that widespread thunderstorm activity expected towards the afternoon, then more scattered activity activity expected for Monday and Tuesday with our temperatures staying hot, but definitely not as hot as they were yesterday as we made it up to 101 degrees. It feels like 92 currently in Charlotte. Tomorrow we're looking at a high of 91, 88 for tomorrow, 92 on Tuesday.